Pixel board is a 16 by 16 LED grid powered by an ESP32 chip. It's an amazing chip, it's about $5. It's mounted on the wall right here and displays a wide variety of different patterns. Like this, 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 this. You can even play Snake on it. It runs cute animations, mini games, even interactive patterns, all controlled by a web interface that I built. I built this for a few reasons. I've always been into software, but I've never really tried or experienced to interact with hardware. I wanted to pick up the Raspberry Pi or the Adreno, and this seemed like a good project to get started. Never worked with microcontrollers uh, before this project, so this is really a learning curve for me, kind of getting started and figuring it out. The ESP32 in and of itself is really easy to control. It is fairly compatible with all the Arduino code base, but the thing that was particularly magical was I was able to go into modern AI tools like Cursor and be able to request patterns and interactively collaborate with the AI to build many of these patterns. The other reason is, let's be real, I grew up with Nintendo, Mario, Tetris, Snake, retro games. It just brings me back and these pixelated games are an absolute ton of fun. And finally, I just wanted to see if I could do it. I think part of the fun for me in playing with technology is having fun with it. So if you're not having fun, what are you really doing? Now, what makes this really different for me is that it's interactive. It's not just a passive display that just blinks on the desk. I can actually have a fully interactive web interface, but the fun thing is being able to play games. And so if you're stuck on Zoom, waiting for the person to join, I can actually have that going. Not only do I have games on the interface, I can choose different patterns, I can have messages with text, and I can even draw on it, including playing video. For me, it's just a lot of fun. It doesn't really do anything. It's certainly an interactive display, an experiment in terms of technology, and really a way for me to play with modern tools such as Cursor and AI to build brand new interactive patterns. In terms of what's next, I'm really excited by the technology because it really pushed me to get into the compiler and wrestle with some of the new technologies and things that are working. Now, to be honest, some of the things didn't really work and I ended up with crashes fairly often. But crashing, that's kind of the point. You don't get better at something unless you pick it up and try it for yourself. You don't need to be an electrical engineer to make something cool. You just need a little bit of curiosity, a little bit of patience, and maybe just a couple dozen videos of people who are much better at circuitry than I am. If you've ever thought about building something physical, seriously do it. This is an amazing technology. The ESP32 in particular is super approachable. There are lots of $5 modules that you can find on Amazon. and. I found it to be really easy and 100% compatible with kits like Arduino, which also pretty easy to get a kit and be able to control basic LEDs, basic lights, basic switches as well. So that's the pixel board. I've got more patterns, more games, a few secret ideas coming up. But if you want a deeper dive into how I coded the interface or how I changed it in version two, if you want to see it up on GitHub, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you if this is something you'd like to see more of. And if this inspired you to build something, I'd love to see that as well. I I think side projects are one of the best types of projects and every engineer, every product person should be dabbling and playing with the technology because that's really how you get better. Hope you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe and please share it with someone. I'm Greg Reyes, I talk about technology, entrepreneurship and design. Catch you on the next one.